Alright, what is going on, people? You may wonder, why is this frozen? What's going on? No, the game did not freeze on me. No, my Xbox did not crash. You are watching a VLC replay of an already recorded video. Now, why are you doing this, brother? What happened? What happened is that this goddamn playthrough was a fucking travesty. That's what happened. First, I accidentally delete the first edition of it, so now you have to see the updated version, the uh, HD re-release, so to speak, of this playthrough. See, like, you know, look at the detail on my scythe and my shield and all that stuff. It's so different. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. Um, so what ended up happening, I'm actually not 100% sure. My microphone was not working the entire time. I recorded four videos uh, in this one particular session and the fourth video the microphone worked perfectly I have no idea why it just suddenly magically started working at the very end of it in the third video There was a little bit here and there like it cut in for like a minute then it cut back out What I assume in the, the uh, first two videos don't have any commentary to them whatsoever It's just the gameplay and I checked around just to see you know like is my microphone going bad? What's going on here? Obviously, it's working now, so it's not going bad uh, what I assume happened is that the cable the USB cable that obviously attaches from my microphone into the computer, I think the end that plugs into the microphone was a little bit loose, and so because of that, that was why it was not accurately tracking the recording. So like maybe at the very end, something jostled it just enough so that it was in far enough to start recording, because that's one of the most infuriating parts of this microphone is that there's a little red kind of, I'm not sure if it's an LED light, but there's a little red light at the very top of it that indicates that it's plugged in, it's powered on, it's working. But the problem is, is that, like I said, that cable, and this has happened to me a couple times before, actually, I think only once before, and then I started making sure to check, and then I guess I just haven't been doing that recently, and it just so happened to uh, occur again. So, um... The red light will stay on even if that cable is out just a little bit too far. So, like, technically it's still receiving power, but it's not transmitting properly or something. That's the only thing I can really assume. But anyway, so what happened, obviously, right here is that that it didn't, it didn't happen. It didn't track. So let's get started right here. You can see in the background, kind of up there in the top right corner, uh, this, I don't know her name specifically, but she was one of uh, Gwyn's knights along with Artorius, a good friend of Artorius. And so, obviously, allow us to go pay the proper respects to her. Huh? Do you enjoy the talent? I enjoy the talent. I mean, you know, missing two fucking attacks, three fucking attacks. <laughs> so, basically, uh, what happens here, you can either... She asks, she requests, you give her Artorius' soul. And you can do that, and she will give you her weapons. However, uh, doing that does not... She will not... If you kill her, she drops her armor, and there's no other way to get her armor. So I was kind of thinking I may want to equip some pieces of said armor in time, so I wanted to kill her instead. Uh, and right here, what I'm doing is trying to use that neutral dodge backstep thing, because I'm trying to get used to the, like the spacing, the usage of it, except I don't think, uh, unfortunately, that neutral dodge, I don't think it has any invincibility to it. Like other, uh, Unlike the rest of the rolls... I don't think it has any invincibility to it. And from what I am assuming right there, that is an anti-healing thing, which shout out to that timing. <laughs> Thank you for letting me get that one heal in there. But yeah, so anyway, is just, I mean, there's nothing really particularly special. You do get to see a little bit of the gold tracer um, move set right here. It's a really flashy weapon, but it's not. I do end up using it a little bit. Spoiler alert. Uh, later on and you'll obviously end up seeing that I think it's that one is on the video that actually does have the Original fucking commentary on it. Gosh darn it uh, But yeah, so That's that and I'm actually gonna go ahead and skip ahead here because not to So you don't have to see all of this shit because I know I am aware Without like purposefully scripting ahead of time just kind of watching this it's again. It's very it's an analytical thing rather than a reactionary thing. And so thanks to that, I'm basically just going to be kind of going moment to moment rather than... Um, let me just pause it so it's not like this quick jerk forward. Um, it's not It's not the same. It's not the same flavor. It's not the same soul. I can't really... And that's the same thing as like... You know, there were, I've talked about it in the obviously in the playthrough that I already did. There were so many great moments that, I like, that likely will not occur again. That will not be replicated under natural circumstances. And 
I don't like that idea of just forcing it and trying to kind of act out a reaction rather than it being natural and real. And so I know, you know, I'm not going to be as entertaining as I normally possibly could. So let me skip forward here. There is a funny moment. We just got right to two clicks and we got right to it. This platforming bullshit is bullshit. So as you can see right here, I'm trying to get that crystal lizard. I barely missed that. I barely missed that. I die. Fucking love that part. I have... That is... Like, that Bloodborne, for those of you that may not be aware, that Bloodborne jump, so obviously I'm going to skip back ahead here to getting us back to it. Um, that Bloodborne jump, where you have to, to get to the uh, the real world version of like the dream house, you get the dolls clothes, all that stuff, you've played Bloodborne. That jump is also very difficult. That is my version of that jump. I have died more to that. I've died more to that than I have succeeded at it. So let me get it. There we go. Moving on along. <laughs> Will he succeed this time? Shall he finally hunt down the ever-elusive crystal lizard? That's the only fucking way I can kill him. Only way. The falling attack. Because the, the falling attack actually, like, the, my entire body is the hitbox. <laughs> Rather than just the very edge of the fucking sight. So now we finally get to fight Mr. Miss. I'm not sure what gender column it is. I don't get far enough underneath to tell. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So... This fight, just to kind of discuss it a little bit, since obviously we cannot do the reactionary thing. You want to bait out three attacks. Wow, I actually, I apologize for that screeching. That is the game. That is as annoying as it, it's just as annoying to me as it is to you. I have my headphones plugged in, so obviously the, uh, the, I don't have my headphones on, so I'm not actually hearing the game sound right now. I heard that through my headphones, which are a good two feet away from me right now. I fucking hate that sound effect. But anyway, so if you, uh, the entire intention, obviously what I'm doing right now, you're not seeing me attack a bunch, aside from right there. I'm trying to bait out two specific attacks, and there's a third one that can possibly come out. The third one is the best for cutting off the tail, but uh, it's harder to get properly, so it's easier to just try and bait out two specific attacks by standing directly in front of Kalami. And so the first one was that grab with the screech. However, that is the hardest one to get an attack on his tail. Because normally, as you can see, his tail is almost always very high up in the air. I'm not sure. This is the best attack, right? This is the best method right here. And then he does this tail slam. And then the tail is there for a while. You obviously see I managed to cut off the tail right there. That is the optimal way to get it. But you have to spend all of your time in mid-range. Uh, and he'll usually do various fire spitting attacks rather than that lunging attack whenever he is, uh, whenever you're mid range. So it's kind of I'm impatient, and so despite the fact that, that is the easiest, it's generally uh, the easiest to cut off his tail is generally easier to get. Shout out to that hitbox. <laughs> it's generally easier to get the other two attacks, even though the other two do not give you as long. Usually you can only get one hit at best against uh, those particular attacks. So anyway, we got his tail, so let's kill this motherfucker now, right? Surely Nate's not gonna fail. When would he ever do that? When would he ever do anything stupid to get himself killed? <laughs> Continue watching and we'll find out. But, um... So yeah, it's kind of... This is the best attack right here. In order to actually get attacks, usually you're not that far away from it. Um, but that is the optimal way. Because usually you can get two or three attacks in in that time. Shout out to my aim right here. Gotta fucking love it. Gotta love that. I just, I hate that attack angle. I really, I don't even know why I still utilize the regular attacks. Because they're slow. They're cumbersome. They're just not very, they don't have a very good attack range. It's just a straight line straight down rather than, you know, like the kind of horiz wide horizontal sweeping attacks that you would expect from a weapon like this. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why I still use that. But, habits. It's kind of just that kind of feeling. I think it's just kind of left over from the utilization of great swords. Um, because one of the weapons that I used the most was a great sword in, what's it called, Dark Souls 2. <laughs> that was such a hard title to remember. Um. Uh, and the strong attacks, while, like, very devastating, take about 20 seconds to come out. 
So it's not fantastic to get into the habit of using those, and so it's kind of I think that kind of is just translated to me where like I just don't really use strong attacks. So this leads us to a tight knight slab. Unfortunately, I mean that's about it of interest that happens in this video. What hap I, I think what ends up occurring is that let me just scroll forward to make sure here. I end up making my way back to the entrance of the Artorius's arena. Right here. Oh, I go and I level up a bit using those souls. But I go back to the entrance of Artorius's arena, and there's a message there that asks for help, for summon help. And um, I, I just put down my summon sign and talk for a little while to see whether or not I might get summoned. But I never got summoned, so I left. And there's no reason to waste your time experiencing this part. So let's move right along and get this awkwardness over with, so we can move on with the goddamn playthrough.